Hi guys, it's Miss Roper here. It's great to see you coming to you live from my living room. Guys, what we're going to look at today, we're going to be talking about a song called Shake the Papayas Down. And this song has a lot of rhythms using quarter notes and eighth notes. Now you'll notice they're not normal patterns. They're in a, what we call a syncopated pattern where they're kind of all mixed up. So if you look up here, you'll see things like single eighth notes, which we call T, and the quarter notes that we call ta. Now, as you go through the lesson, you're gonna make sure that you are clapping on these rhythms. So this first rhythm is ti ta, ti ta, ta. Ti ta, ti ta, ta. Now, you'll notice as you go through the video, the rhythms are going to change. So you have to really be looking for when it changes the order of the eighth notes and the quarter notes. And it's called Shake the Papayas Down because guess what that is? It's a papaya. So I hope you enjoy performing along with these rhythms. So when you get through this instructional part, you're going to click on the next video and try to clap along with these rhythms. You may need to go through it more than one time because the first time may be a little bit tricky. Now, the second time, what I want you to do, if you get it the first time, I want you to try to find something around your house that you can use to tap. Now, I know a lot of you probably don't have rhythm sticks in your house like I do, but you could use something like spoons. You could actually use something just like two pencils. So the second time that you play through the song, I want you to click on the video for a second time. Use your sticks, which we're calling spoons or, or some type of pencil, to go back and do the rhythms that way because you can hear a difference in how they sound if you're tapping them out instead of just clapping them. So I actually want you to go through the lesson twice. First time just clapping, second time repeat it. Use something you can tap. So in between time, you'll have time to go find something. You might even actually use regular spoons if you don't have wooden spoons or a bigger spoon, something that you can tap the rhythms with. Okay, guys, don't forget, click on the next video. You got to do it two times, once clapping, once with some type of a instrument that you can make out of something in your house. All right, have fun.